Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. Ka child friendly shalong sa shisi and pat kalapunong biyang yako convention, si bentaban kintiyo yako hok jungki kna, but kumjuru ban kintiyo yako roy ka kio. Hagani ka singi gila don hado ka santili kikan hoon jungki kna, na kidong ba kishnong, kibalawan manishi bentah. Lapunong yani ka convention bentah ka singi ka arpu pratrek uno pra arajar arpu lai, hasin Anthony's college, hagaba kilawan ra ishi buntili kiman, hagaba yade yu ka hea ka san jungki kilong kna. Nang ta kila jingya da, pat kum ta ter ter. Kakong lamon lang si im, ka chairperson ka Megalia State Commission of Child Rights, kala kadaw yak jindan ka man kentiyo yak hok chung ki khanna. Ha kajok ka por, kala kran ru alor kum nung ki khalong khanna, ki di ban yo yak jingya da, ka jaka ka babiang ha kabakin he kan san, nang ta kabam ka di ka babiang tam, kila jing puli, pat kiwe kiwe ki baday, kipala ban yarap iki khanna. Haga ni kasi ngala don ro ka jingya tay halor ka jingat rayo drop. Haga ba na kalyang kikin huwan ki baday kami iki kalong kanna. Ki niya karan baki way par kikin huwan halor ban bu iki la jing sumar. Ki ba yo ay. Bat ban kran ro halor ki kam ki baday 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 baday. Everybody, do you know that? You get God has kept you on this planet. You were born. You made your parents happy when you were born. Everybody. And you have a vision. And God has given you a mission. He's kept dreams in your heart. He's kept love in your heart. He's kept, he's kept uh, you know, uh, gifts in your heart, in your, in, your, in your beings, right? And the fact that we have these child rights club is a privilege because then you can participate, you can explore, you can you can develop your skills, your your speaking skills, and most of all, you want to change the world, right? There's so many things that are bad. There are so many people who don't have rights, right? And so you're you're being vocal. Do you know that hundreds of years ago that children have no right to speak? They'll see a child and say, Go and sit in the corner, you know. Don't they'll say. Don't speak. And children were abused, they were beaten. You know, they had no voice. But then, you know what happened? Over the years, and there was this one woman, Eglantine White, uh, Eglantine Jeb. Have you heard that the name of this woman? Eglantine Jeb. So she was one of the ladies who wrote the first draft of the rights, the conven- for the, the, the rights of, for children. It was it came out as a draft, and then later on. In the United Nations Convention for the Rights of the Child, that was a time when it was refined and modified, and we have the rights of the child. So we thank God for people, individuals, and groups, you know, and even now also for all your your facilitators over here in Child Friendly City Forum. All these people, they have a vision, they have a dream to to change what is happening in society. Okay, and that's why when uh, we thank, we're thankful for those uh, those people hundreds of years ago, decades ago, when they drew up these conventions, these rights, they spell it out, and they give, they empowered all of us, including me, but most of all, empowered the child, right, to be able to speak, to articulate. Now there are things which you worry about, right? Like for example, I think you've been doing that. You worry about water, safe water. Do you? I've seen some of the the videos that you've made. You go and then I think you're involving yourself with the headman, the Rangba Ashnong and everybody to tell that to tell them that we have a right to clean water to drink. You're not the only ones, you know. All across the world, if you look at people in Canada and many places in many countries, they fight for that right, the safe water to drink. That is so important. Then you're also fighting for what? Mental health issues, 
there are uh, a lot of children who who have uh, mental health issues these days because you worry about you worry about your school you're bullied you know there are people who bully each other right there's so many things that kids are worried about right so this is a men mental health also has been one of the rights where children are fighting for that the right to have good health care uh, and and so on and so forth right and this the right to be educated right all those rights you're fighting what else environment yes yeah are you fighting for environment also because now we talk about climate change and so I just now we saw no you're all planting trees and all that but it's not just about planting trees it's about you know, I'll just wind up all this. I know I've been talking a little bit and usually I talk fast because I'm a teacher, but I'm going very slow now. Hmm? I'll tell you what. If you remember that, it will help you also. We, let me tell you, anybody here, anybody here, okay, um, can live alone? Yes or no? Raise up your hands, anybody who can live alone. No, no? Can live alone. Ah, you can't live alone because we are wired. That means we are created in such a way that we live, we, we only can live in relationships, right? With others. You can't live alone. Even the sadhu also has to talk to somebody. Hmm? He talks to God, okay? So we have a relationship, number one, with God. Number two, with yourselves. Hmm? You talk to yourself, right? To understand yourself, yes, I see some some faces nodding, and uh, we have a relationship with others. We cannot live without relationship. We cannot live without other people. Okay, and if uh, th that's why we're here to to make changes because uh, what we have done with each other is that remember we talked about just now we have broken relationships. We are, uh, our relationship with the environment also is the same thing. What have we done with the environment? We have abused it, right? We cut down the trees, we dirty the rivers, and we do a whole lot of things. In fact, even plucking flowers, have you noticed, some of you, have you when, when we see some nice flower, so it's so pretty that we pick, pluck it. I've learned now to say, poor thing, it'll only grow just for a while, right? Even, even, even insects, you know what I do? If I, an insect come into the room, um, then I say, I'm so sorry. If I can, I take it out. But if it doesn't go away, like it might be, it might be a rat also, it might be something else, then I say, I'm so sorry, but this is my territory, I have to kill you. <laughs> Sometimes we say that. I mean, mean, I have to take it out. Usually we like to take it out. But cruelty of any kind, even to an ant or a flower that we pluck, that can be cruelty. But if we have a relationship, we say, poor thing, this butterfly will live only for a while, this ant will live only for a while, right? They don't live forever. It's only maybe for a few days, a few months, a few weeks, right? So if we give them that right to live, then we have a relationship with the environment, with the world around us. And I want us to develop that. So ultimately, ultimately, we have all these relationships, we have all these rights which have been uh, fought for us, given to us, and which we are, you know, um, we are participating and speaking, expressing in our child rights club. And I, I love you for that. And happy that we are alive, isn't it? How many of you are happy that we are alive? I'm happy. Anybody else? Hmm? Are we happy? Yes. yes. Especially after all those... Um, um, Quite a few years, right, that we went through the lockdown and everything, uh, kids included and, <clears throat> and parents and everybody, adults. We went through a bad time, but it was a time of learning also. So now we are so happy that we can be together without keeping our distance and wearing masks. And I know a lot of children, they don't like to wear masks, right? So I'm so, so happy to be with you. Um, it's a great pleasure that I said yes. Um, though it's a time when, you know, <clears throat> we've all had our own festivities and all that. So I thank the organizers, Child Friendly City Forum, and uh, uh, Father Joby, uh, Joseph, right? Father Joseph, Kong Iba, Kong Shima, and I, I won't be able to remember everybody's names. But <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning, and I'm so uh, blessed, in fact, to be with you, right? So I don't want to take too much time, so if, I'm too, if I talk too long, 
And I'm a teacher, let me tell you. Okay, I taught for so many years. So if I talk too long, you can just say, do this. I trust kids to do that. Adults are not so, you know, they're polite. But kids, I love it. Because you're so, you're honest, you're real. And we need you. We need uh, you. We, we need uh, our children to teach us so many things. I learn so much from children, more than I learn from adults, by the way. Okay, and you're all beautiful, hmm. with all your beautiful clothes um, and your different hairstyles, you know. And um, you're all you're all beautiful. Do you know that? And there's no one in the world quite like you. You're unique. Do you know that? Even if you search the whole world, yeah, there might be some people who look a little bit like you, even twins, but you are one of a kind, okay? So that's why you're very special. And I love to be, <clears throat> to be part um, of any function, anywhere where there's children, because you, you learn how to love and you learn how to, how, to, how to laugh. Children also will speak out about life, about uh, the, the, the right to be protected, the right to life, the right to, uh, to develop, the right to have um, a good environment, safe drinking water, food, and, and education, and everything. So whatever you're doing, please keep it up, okay? Please keep it up, and keep on speaking louder and louder, so that you also empower other children to do the same. So then, we wind up with this, there's only one thing I want to review. One is that we are, we are, we are met, we're created for relationships, relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, and relationship with others, including the environment, right? And that God gave us love. He is love. And if you want to have a good, right relationship with ourselves, with people, and with God, then we have to learn to abide with him, to grow closer to him, to talk to him. You don't have to go and sit in a corner and kneel down. You talk to God everywhere, okay? And you're good at that. And once we begin to love, then we will have wisdom. We will have courage to fight, just like the Christ came to give that declaration, remember? He said, I have come to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, and the breweries to set the captives free. And that's what we all are here for, right? Okay? So shall we shall we just kind of uh, keep quiet just for a moment and think, like, I'm here, I'm loved. Think about it. I am loved. Who loved you? Who loves you? First of all, who loves you? God. And that's why we have to love ourselves. Okay? We have to run away from things that destroy our bodies, our mind, like maybe drugs or cigarettes or speaking bad words. We have to love ourselves, okay? And we can never love other people unless we love ourselves, okay? That is wisdom. And then, once, once God pours out His love to us, we accept that love, then we can love others, and then we can have the wisdom that God can give how to live, how to go on, how to have child rights clubs, that is also wisdom, right? And we are thankful, we are grateful to God, we are grateful for the people who are helping us to grow, to have these rights. And we know, and I know that every one of you, every one of you, God will use you, you have a destiny, you have a purpose, you are loved, you are precious, and you have gifts and abilities that God will use. One day when I'm old, I'm 99 years old, you come to me again, you tell me, Miss, you can call me Miss A.